That's a seven and a half pounder. No, it's not my biggest. Speckled sea trout. The hunt for big trout. God, I love big trout. Well, welcome to the lazy boy at the Jetty Wolf Fish Camp. Come on. I'm gonna show you all something that I was sitting here stropping. This is a strop, a wore out strop. I'm gonna show you something. I don't think I showed anybody this. And you know, for some reason, the lazy boy videos always are quite intriguing to people, I guess. Sitting in the lazy boy, watching YouTube. So, I'm going to show you something. Here's what I was just stropping. Check that out. That is a small knife. I mean, it is tiny, tiny, tiny. Tiny. I mean, my finger is longer. And I don't even have long, skinny fingers. I got stubby hands. And my finger is longer than this knife. It's an auto made by Bear Ops, which is Bear and Son Cutlery. Jacksonville, Alabama. Made in the USA. This is the first one that I've ever owned of the Bear Ops brand. I've had Bear and Sons knives, you know, lockback folders. But I'm going to show you something that is absolutely, I believe, amazing. It's not amazing. I mean, if you're if you know the mechanics of it, it's not that big a deal. Got a little tiny pocket clip right there. And look how, for all you, you know, so concerned about pocket clip weirdos, look at that deep carry. But is it? No. It's not deep carry because this little point stick will stick up and then somebody thinks that you got a knife and by God, is it an auto? It's a weapon that's, oh, you're going to take out the whole office with this thing. <laughs> Goddamn office people, I'm telling you. I'm glad I'm like Jerry Seinfeld when George said, you know office politics, right, Jerry? And Jerry said, well, not really. I've never had a job. <laughs> it's because he's been a comedian his whole entire life. He don't know nothing about that crap that goes on with a bunch of women and Guys shoved in a building. All that office bullshit. But this is something that you khaki wearers could still really be into. It's got a safety right here. And I mean, it's a very positive safety. And there's the button right there. And I want you to see something where you physically have to hold on to this with the pocket clip. The pocket clip is so integral in this knife because it is so wicked. Let me get that out of the way. I'm using the dumb phone. Second video in a week with the old dumb phone. It ain't smart, 
That's for damn sure. Very well made. All aluminum. S30V blade. Jimping. Torx. Screws. No, hold, hold on to your hat here. Do not blink. It's almost magic. Did you see it? It just appears. And look at that blade. Black blade. Of course, I've got mine <laughs> sharpened all get out, man. I was just stropping it. Oh my God. Is this little thing. Look at that. It is what a two finger knife. With the thumb up there. It's got a swedge sort of at the top here. For some reason this phone is making the light look fakey yellow. It's more real now. So. You lock it. And it's locked. And you can hold on to that jimping. There's some people who won't buy a knife unless it has some jimping on it. That spring is so strong for the sheer fact that that blade is so small. This is not a cheap knife. You want to talk about an office-friendly letter opener, box cutter, that is just badass. This thing is badass. Here in the Lazy Boy. Now don't blink because it just magically appears. That is the most discreet auto I have ever seen. Flush screws. Everybody's big into flush screws. <laughs> you know, they're so worried about their cotton dockers. This is a bottom of the pocket knife for me. You want to see it one more time? Here we go. Don't blink. <laughs> With S30V played. And I'm telling you, this ain't like no cheapy piece of crap. This thing comes sharp. So there you go. For some reason, when I do a, my last Lazy Boy knife show and tell was with the Buck 110 Elite Pro Hunter with G10. For some reason, that video did very well. Here we go. Don't blink.